Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. I'm just doing a little fly around here in the Raven because I absolutely love it. It's such a nice little craft capable of giving me all this scouting information. The sun is just coming up. See it there with... What is that? There's like a... What are the planets in the background? God, that's a beautiful image. But let's fly back around and set ourselves down at the save zone as I drove there last night. Also, I sat through a lightning storm for a little bit before I realized, wait, I could sit inside the save zone and not have to constantly repair my ship because I am a dumbass. But, well, we know that. <laughs> we know that I'm an idiot sometimes, so that, that's a good thing. And what am I doing trying to bleed off speed? We're just going to go in for a safe zone landing. Kabunk. And plop. We are good. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the most, like, stupidest thing I love about safe zones in this game. Just bonk and land it. So yeah, I kind of um, have some damage from lightning before I realized I should just hide in the safe zone, like a smart boy. <sighs> so unfortunately, it won't get welded until I leave the safe zone, because you can't use any welders or grinders or anything while you're in the safe zone area, which is probably a good thing. And uh, these guns are damaged. Good cut. Uh, can I not reach that? That is very annoying. I should be able to reach it if I made myself a ramp. Yee. Hey. Yeet. There we go. And we need some grids and all that kind of stuff to repair it. Of course. Everything to make one more gun. And let's go grab it out of storage compartments. I cannot withdraw a computer. What? Do I not have any computers? I could not have any computers. That is an, a possibility. So we'll make a thousand of them. <laughs> Computer go burr. Okay, now I know I have computers. Oh, is it because I'm not seeing the entire thing here? Yeah, that's it. God. So picky. Uh, so silly. Yeah. So, we are here. And I have yet to... Oh my god, I'm going to mess up this jump so many times. I have yet to go on to the station here. It is a TFSR beacon. So I'm not sure what they are. We look here in the factions. They are the first scrappers. The highest grade of minerals and gases come visit us. <gasps> they sell gas? Can I refill my hydrogen tanks? Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, what I believe is that this here, this graded, uh, this um, conveyor right here, will allow me to put a connector there, and then there uh, is on the edge of the station is a connector. Although I believe that would be typically for flying ships. My mobile base here is the same height as their base. And so I can just plug right into it. So I'm going to get rid of this graded catwalk. And then I believe I need to plunk that from this side. <laughs> Silly ship moving slightly and causing me to misplace it. And some catwalks. I want catwalk straights. And then some fights. Connectors. Inventory full. Because I should just be able to put down this and then a catwalk on top of that. And be able to just walk across right into the base. And it'll be glorious. Stuff here, and more 
our piece of catwalk. And now, that should be like my little gantry way to get onto the race. Which I am excited about. Oh, and you also may notice I did a little bit of, uh, let me just park up here for a second. I did a little bit of the armor shaping here. So, I've got the armor around there pretty much figured out of how it's going to go back to the rotor turret. And then right here it's shaped up a bit, although I have to probably smooth this portion out as it goes down further. But this section here coming back is all shaped up, so that's excellent. And that should work out nicely. I did that I was as I was waiting for the... Uh, uh, the day to click over and for me to be able to uh, hook up to this station and show you guys everything and then I realized oh wait I should just go hide in the uh, uh, in the save zone here to get out of the lightning and then I was like ah oh, but then if I do that I can't uh, build while in the save zone so I wasn't able to do any more work on it because I was hiding from the lightning okay so I can pull up right up to this thing and we should be good if I can get it close enough I don't want to put it on a piston or anything because that just seems excessive but I need to line it up here vertically and then park and then for my wheels, I just need to slowly lower their height offset until those align. Hey, hey, hey. That looks good. That looks like it's almost perfect. Oh, baby. Look at that. And then all we need to do is lock. And now we're connected to that base. Excellent! Alright, let's go take a look around here. Got that beacon for the base there. Let's see, down this way? I head in through the door and it vents for some reason. It must be because it's just, we're on a planet but there's low pressure in this area. What? Aha, here's the main room. So, let us see. There's the ATM. And oh, we can also do contracts as well. Let's take a look at the store here. Now, this is to buy. We can get gold and we can buy hydrogen. Oh, baby. I can refill my tanks can get some silver and some silicon. I don't think I really need a lot of this. Maybe magnesium, but it is quite expensive per powder at 36,000. Uh, we only have 10,000 in our bank right now. But what can we sell? Got cobalt ore, gold ore, motors. 285 motors. How much would that sell for? 166,000. 285 motors. Uh, do we have... If I access the control panel, which I can't, if I remote control the Mastodon to take a look at its inventory, we should have easily that many motors, which I can part with for sure. Uh, we don't... We still have some nickel ore and some silicon ore that I haven't refined yet. Just a little bit, though. And does this want cobalt? No, none, none of the ores that I have it wants. But I can easily do 285 and sell that. You do not have the specified... Oh, no, no, wait. It is in the large container of the Mastodon right there. 285. Boom. And now I have $176,000. Uh, 
Uh, detector components. I can do 44 detector components. Hey, baby. Made a sweet quarter mil there in just a few minutes. Like, that's amazing. Uh, other than that, it wants ore, but we have refined material. If it was like, too bad we can't sell the, the refined material. Uh, but how much magnesium could we get? Dear God, we don't have a million. Um, no, 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 no. We could get what? Like nine, eight, seven magnesium, and that's it. That's way overpriced at 36000 a pop. Way overpriced. Jeez, I wish they would buy magnesium powder. I would sell it to them. Holy crap. Make a whole bunch of money and then, uh... I don't know, just be space rich. Uh... We have capacity in these tanks. How much is this? Four, four, six, nine. Okay, what happens if I just put in one? What is this? Okay, so it's one here. So 469 there. Okay, I can, boom. Yeah, fill up that tank a little bit. I mean, it didn't cost me very much, but it's got a little bit extra hydrogen out of that. That's excellent. Uh, I don't need any iron. I don't need any oxygen. The rest of this stuff looks like we're good here. For our silver, we are just fine with like 230 something ingots. Uh, there's 11,000 credits there, which we should probably go and uh, gather up and deposit here. Considering there's an ATM and I can put them to good use. Walk across our little bridge here right onto my rover. That just feels so slick. <laughs> and where was that ATM? Yeah, there we go. And then we want to... Uh, what we got? 11... 11,000 here. 11,000 deposit. 951 deposit. Boom! Zero credits. And that should be... Oh, I have one credit left. Deposit. There we go. 230,000 total credits. After I got rid of those. Uh, but that's only just what's in the store right now. Um... Oh! What? Stuff... The motors and detector components came back. Uh, nice, it must have, uh, like these refresh every so often, it must have just refreshed after I looked away from it. But there, we got another batch of money, and oh, I've got some more hydrogen that I can purchase. Heck yes, I will take that hydrogen. Oh, uranium. I don't need uranium. Yeah, I don't need uranium. Moving on from there. If I just look back, does it go? No. It must have just reset. But we can also take a look at contracts. So, search contracts where we can find a lost container at a location. Uh, acquisition where we need to provide them with 27 oxygen bottles. And they'll give us 144,000. Um, hauling contracts, unfortunately, would take me to space, so I'm not there yet. Uh, but there, there could be some acquisition contracts in here that uh, I could pull off pretty quickly. 50 magazine power, no. Let's just take a look at the acquisition. Platinum, magnesium, 362 silicon ore. 
possibly 265 displays for only 5,000 bucks? That's horrible. Uh, 362 silicon. Uh, let me go take a look here. Do I have any ore left? I do have some ore left. Uh, process the nickel first. I need 362 silicon ore. Just shut down those refineries for a moment. I can sell that silicon ore for sure. Get back into my inventories. Alright. Acquisition for silicon ore. 362. Accept. And I'd like to finish from the Mastodon. Bada bum! Now, 350 bulletproof glass, not worth 5,000 bucks. 27 auction bottles, though. What does it take to make an auction bottle? Oh, Mastodon, do you have the ability to do that? Be on a tool? Iron Sure. Uh, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sure, I'll make 27 auction bottles and throw them at these guys. Now, the question is do they have to be full? Which would be an easy thing to do. Uh, da, 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 acquisition. We will accept that acquisition. And let's see if we can finish it here. Bunch of oxygen bottles. And can I finish from Mastodon? Hey, there we go. That was easy. 144,000 credits just for making some auction bottles. Mm, beautiful. Uh, too bad you don't have any hauling contracts that are on, like, the planet here. Because that would be actually kind of fun to do. It would take me a nice detour. And search contracts are kind of silly when I'm on foot. So yeah, probably best just to quit acquisition. But nothing else here looks worthwhile. That is, unless I had some platinum. If I had 124 platinum, I'd certainly give it over for $14 million. That would be beautiful. There's no escorts, no bounty. Yeah. I think I'm good on contracts here. Take a look. Still nothing more I want to sell or buy at the moment. And yeah, we made some pretty good dough. So I think it m might be time to roll on from here. Uh, some of these places have it. I couldn't remember. It is. Sometimes they have a, like, you can buy a uh, little data pad that'll tell you where another station is. Uh, because it's got, these kind of stations are uh, fun to run into. I like doing it. Because then I can get some money, I can get some extra fuel. But it was paltry in comparison to what the uh, Mastodon already had on board. It just barely topped up my tanks. But, but, uh, we did make some money. Uh, where is my... Where does it list how much money I have again? I cannot remember. Oh, there it is. $470,000. I certainly wish I had that much money in real life. Life would be amazing. And we are going to have that one connector. It's going to be connector four. And we will... 
on lock from that station. And slowly back away. And can I slowly back away? Am I hitting something? There, let me r r raise my wheels back up. There we go. Yep, we're hitting something. Alright, so. Station has been visited. Hydrogen has been require, acquired. Take a look at the tanks here. 93, 90, and 98. So we got an extra 10% hydrogen on one of our tanks, essentially. Around there. Our engines are going... I am, and our batteries are fully recharged, so we can turn our engines uh, off. Uh, Silly storms. And the next thing to do is we are done with the South Pole, so we're going for the Desert Plateau. And we should do a little bit of scout run with the Raven. You always gotta see what's ahead of you. Although this uh, little bit of dust storm will not help us at all. Yes, we have left the safe zone and we are gaining height. Get me up, up and out of here. Coasting along. Uh, I don't see very much in the way of bad terrain yet. It is a little dusty out, which makes things unfortunate. Well, let's take a look here. Yeah, this this is uh, more desert dunes. Is that what we have for the next 40 kilometers? This is more desert dunes. I mean, I wouldn't complain that much about it, but still, it's going to get kind of boring flying over desert dunes the entire way. Uh, looks like there's something out there. But, yep, for the next little bit, looks like desert dunes all the way. So, we should just be able to uh, plunk our little butts down here on this ridge line. That is Parallax Bunker. And let this thing just be parked up here until we need to access it again. drive uh, towards where this thing is parked. Park. Good little rover. What do you got? 23 hours? Beautiful. Oh, hey, and it's, uh... <laughs> That's kind of cool. It is all sandy, dusty here. Mode access the Raven. It is just peachy clear. That is awesome. Head towards the Raven. Oh, 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 what was that? A Qatar Mark 1? That just spawned. That wasn't there before when I drove through. Oh my god, it's gonna make me go salvage something again. I mean, if you're going to put a nice salvage spawn like two and a half kilometers away, I'm going to go for it because it's a nice salvage spawn. I mean, how can I say no when it's that close? 
it's got to be on the top of this uh, plateau here that I drove over to uh, get to the beacon. Also, that's a small reactor. It does not need to be showing on HUD anymore. Also, a gyroscope that doesn't be showing on HUD. Random incomplete items in one of my f my ships that I should finish eventually. Hello, Qatar. What kind of goodies do you have for me today? Let's see. Hydrogen thrusters. If there's any rockets in these rocket launchers, that'd be nice. Looks like the inventories are all empty, which is unfortunate. A little bit of ice, but that's it. Nothing really entertaining there. Uh, maybe some ammo and magnesium in these turrets, but nope, no ammo. Um... Hydro tank? Yeah, there's a full hydrogen tank in here, but I mean, my tanks are at like 90%. I don't really need it. There's nothing in this wreck that I really, really need. Uh, does it? Does it have a jump? Or is it just a little fighter ship? It's got a small reactor, which would have some reactor components for salvage. And then beyond that... No, nah, nothing. Nothing really that I care about. Alright, I'll just mark it up and uh, continue on. Uh, how do you pronounce this thing? It is K-E-T-A-R. Uh, da What was the other one I called? Uh, it was like Wreckage or... Yeah, Wreck Tempest. Okay. So it'll be Wreck Qatar. Wreck K-E-T-A-R. There we go. Alright. Oof. Here, I thought I was going to be spending a whole nother end of the episode uh, salvaging stuff, but no. We've got nothing on there worthwhile. And we can just get on a rolling. And now, I'm going to have to go right back to the beacon, then down, then continue on towards where I left the scout plane, because otherwise... It is going to be me driving off a cliff, and that is not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Oh, God! Holy shit! <laughs> God. Goddamn trees! They are made of, like, titanium or something. Oh, my crap! Like, my rover here is 1.4 million, like kilograms and I ran into a tree and it almost flipped me what the absolute prick like <laughs> that is ridiculous oh this is gonna give me some air isn't it if I keep going at the speed oh, that's okay give me the air I don't care Wow this rover can handle it, because it's badass. And I designed it to be the most badass rover ever. But anyway. Uh, yeah. The, the trees on this planet are made of titanium. That's the only explanation I can think of. And uh, here we are at the location of our scout plane. So now that we're there... I think we can... Oh, should we set ourselves into a... Yeah, okay, let's do that again. We'll set our our Mastodon wheels here. Left. 20 with an override. And right. 20 with an override. 
Oh no, wait, rights were a negative, lefts were positive. Right, 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 right. That'll get us going forward. There we go. We are now rolling again. Yeah, let's go 30. And we can pop into the Raven, take control of that. Hey, we can see our little rover driving down in front of us. And what do we see? We need to press three and three. And we can take off. Fly right over our own self. God, I love that. All right. And now, leaving that clangy rover behind, we can head off to uh, this next bit of terrain here and figure out a good direction for the Mastodon to go there. Uh, easy terrain to get there. It just looks a bunch of sand dunes, which we've run into before. But then we get to a ridge line, and that's no good. Now the question is... Up and over or around? Uh, let's see. This is all pretty steep here. I could boost up these hills, but that would be kind of annoying. Um, what's this? Oh, hey, there's a passage. Yeah, that's a passage. Okay, we can drive up that. Uh, so if we drove up there... And then what? Came left around these mountain bits. Where would we go? Oh god, is this all like really mountainy and annoying here? I gotta raise up to get some more horizon. Uh... Mm, it looks a little bumpy, but we should be able to navigate our way out through that direction there. It should be a straight shot. Let's uh, check the flank here. If we turn left instead and go around this whole ker kerfluffle. Uh, looks reasonable, actually. Either way, if I want to go up and over or around. Uh, what's that? Supply cache. Interesting. Oh, there's the bison! I absolutely love this. Now we can just fly back to the bison. So I think... Actually, no. We won't fly back to the bison. We'll land right here. Because then uh, we can just head towards the, the signal for this as we bleed off a whole bunch of speed doing a, uh, doing a spin there so we can come down and not have to land at 100 meters per second we can head towards the signal for the raven and then we'll know we are nearby to this ramp that we want to go up. And uh, how about we land right here? Bada boom. Put our brake on, turn our dampeners off, and all we have to do now is reposition our aimer that direction. And why are we clanging so much? Is that hinge for the door locked? Yes, it is. It just seems that the world wants to clang, which I can't blame it sometimes. It is just, it is fun to clang. I'm sure sharing nurse the tensor on. It is off. I don't know if that would help you or not. Or if It's you. You're making noise. 
What if I raise those pistons? Okay. They, they just want to make noise. That is all. Uh, lightning pistons. Nope, they don't like me. Well, there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> but we will listen to the cacophony of clanging noises as we uh, drive along here towards our next objective. Try to get up and over these uh, hilly terrain and see what happens next. But that is going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow space engineers.